Classification of operating system. Operating system can be classified into two categories. Number one, single user operating system. Number two, multi user operating system. Single user operating system. As the name suggests, single user operating system, an operating system which will allow only one user to use the operating system at a time is called the single user operating system. Operating system that is used by a single user at a time is known as a single user operating system. In this example, you can see that this system is used only by a single user at a time. And only one user can log into this system. If when this user will log off, then other user can log into this system. So this system, this operating system will allow only one user to choose the uh, operating system. It allows, it allows a single user to log in and use the computer at a time. It is easy to use. The resources of the computer such as CPU, memory, input and output devices are shared with, are not shared with the other computers. In this single user operating system, the resources of the computer cannot be shared with other computers uh, who, who are connected uh, like the CPU memory and the input and output devices uh, cannot be shared with other computers. There are main types of the microcomputers. And this, um, we are talking about the single user operating system. Single user operating system is used on the microcomputers. There are many types of microcomputers. If it is a laptop or if it is a, a desktop computer, all these computers, uh, uh, this single user operating system is used on all the microcomputers. User can open many programs at the same time and switch among them as required means a user can open the Word, Excel database, or the recordings, or the video, and they can switch between these programs. It requires less memory and it costs less. It requires less memory. We are talking about the single user operating system. It requires less memory and it costs less because it will allow only one user to use operating system. That's why it requires less memory and that's why it has the less cost. Some examples of single user operating system are DOS, Disk Operating System, Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, all the Windows operating system are the examples of single user operating system and DOS is also a single user operating system. On the other hand, the second one type of uh, classification of the uh, operating system is the multi-user operating system. As the name suggests, multi, multi mean more than one. An operating system which will support more than one user at a time is called the multi-user operating system. Operating system that allows many users to use a computer at the same time is known as a multi-user operating system. In this example, you can see that this is a multi-user operating system. Here, more than one user, 10, 20, 100, uh, uh, this user can log into this system, this, own, this system at the same time. This multi-user operating system allows many users to log into a single big computer and they can run different programs at the same time. Now, all these uh, computers, all these users can log into a big computer uh, and they can uh, run different programs at the same time. Multi-user operating system can share the resources of the computer with other users over the network. Which type of resources it can share with other computers? It can share the CPU, memory, hard drives, etc. Multi-user operating system is used on the mini computers and on the mainframe computers. Here you can see that when all these users are connected to the mainframe computer, they can share the memory, they can share the uh, hard drive, CPU power, and they can share the files, etc. Users can communicate with each other and share the files. A person who is known as the administrator 
is responsible for assigning and managing user name and password for all the users. It requires a powerful CPU, large memory, and large hard drive because many users are going to log into this computer at the same time and the memory and the CPU power and the hard drive is shared among many users. That's why it requires large memory, large hard drive and the CPU power. This multi-user operating system supports multi-programming and time sharing. Examples of multi-user operating systems are Windows NT, Unix, and Linux are the popular examples of multi-user operating system. Thank you.